Here's another example of a limiting reactant problem. What we've got is hydrochloric acid reacting with zinc to produce hydrogen and zinc chloride. The question is, what mass of hydrogen can be produced by reacting 20.0 grams of zinc with 25.5 grams of hydrochloric acid? And what is the limiting reactant? Like I've said before, you really need to answer both questions in order to answer either of the questions. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get started on this. Now the very first thing we're going to need to do, since this is a stoichiometry problem, is get a balanced equation. We've got an equation, it's just not balanced yet, so let's go ahead and balance that. Uh, we've got two hydrogens over there, so we'll need two over there. And that gives us our two chlorines. Looks like that balances it, I believe. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, two chlorines, two chlorines, one zinc, one zinc. Yes, it is balanced. So now we can go ahead and get started. Uh, again, I've got two givens. 20 grams of zinc is one of those givens. Twenty grams of zinc is one of those givens, and twenty-five point five grams of hydrochloric acid is the other given. The unknown, we want to know what mass of hydrogen is going to be made. So that is my unknown. I'm going to use the same unknown for both givens. I always use the same unknown for both givens so that I can make that comparison at the end. It would make no sense to compare the mass of hydrogen to the mass of zinc chloride. I've got to compare the mass of hydrogen to the mass of hydrogen. I'm ready to go ahead and get started. So my first given, I'll just go with the 20.0 grams of zinc. And my other given is 25.5 grams of hydrochloric acid. And my unknown in both cases is mass of hydrogen, which means grams of hydrogen is what I'm trying to get to. Grams of hydrogen is what I'm trying to get to. All right, so let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go from grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. So I need one mole of zinc over however many grams of zinc. Uh, looks like it's 55.38. So it's 55.38 grams of zinc. My grams of zinc are going to cancel. So I'm left with moles of zinc, so I need to keep going. At this point, I need my molar ratio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the ratio of zinc to hydrogen. It is a one-to-one -one ratio, so I've got one mole of hydrogen on top, one mole of zinc on the bottom. Again, I'm going to check the units, and the moles of zinc cancel. I've got moles of hydrogen. I'm ready to go ahead and convert to grams of hydrogen. So I go back to the periodic table and get my molar mass. I know it's 1.008. I've used it enough. I'm not going to look it up. One mole of hydrogen. Uh, it, I'm going to double that because it's H2, so 1.008 times 2 is going to give me 2.016. I'm doubling it because it's a Honkelbrief. I'm ready to go ahead and grab a calculator and do my calculation. So let's see here, I've got uh, to turn this on. 20.0 times 1, uh, that's not going to change anything, times 1 again is not going to change anything, times 2.016, I'm going to hit enter, and then divide by 55.38, which is on the bottom. So divided by 55.38, enter. So this is going to produce, with sig figs, it's going to be uh, 0.728. It's going to be 0.728 grams of hydrogen. Again, I'm not going to box that in because I don't know if that's the right answer yet. I've got to check um, how much hydro 
uh, hydrogen the hydrochloric acid will produce. So I'm going to do the same thing that I just did, only I'm going to start with the hydrochloric acid. I'm going to go from grams of hydrochloric acid to moles of hydrochloric acid, from moles of hydrochloric acid to moles of hydrogen, and then from moles of hydrogen to grams of hydrogen. So it's the same steps. So I'm doing a mass-mass problem going from grams to grams. So it's one mole of hydrochloric acid on top. It's always one mole on top because this is a molar mass by definition. Molar mass is the mass of one single mole of whatever I'm talking about. Hydrochloric acid, uh, let's see here. Periodic table says 35.45 plus 1.008. So I've got 35.45, that's going to be 35.45 plus 1.008. So that's 458. 35.458 is the molar mass for hydrochloric acid. At this point, I'm ready to go ahead and use my molar ratio. This time, I'm looking at uh, let's pick a color here. This time, I'm looking at hydrogen and its relationship to hydrochloric acid, and that is a two to one ratio, or a one to two ratio, I should say. It's going to be one mole of hydrogen on top, just like it was before, over the two moles of hydrochloric acid. I should probably cancel some units here. These guys are going to cancel. These guys are going to cancel. I'm left with moles of hydrogen, but I need to get to grams of hydrogen. So I go ahead and take my final step, 2.016 grams. I can just use what I used up here before. One mole, because I'm going to the same material of hydrogen, cancel out my moles of hydrogen, I've got grams of hydrogen, and I'm ready to go ahead and grab my calculator and calculate this up. So I've got 25.5 times 1, which isn't going to change a thing, times 1 isn't going to change a thing, times 2.016, hit enter, and then divide that by uh, 35. 0.458, hit enter, and then divide that by 2, hit enter, and I get 0 0.725. 0 0.725 according to sig figs. Awfully close, but 0.725 is clearly less than 0.728, so I choose the smaller of the two. So that means that this is the amount that will be produced. The reason I can't make more is because, is because I'm going to run out of hydrochloric acid. So that makes that hydrochloric acid the limiting reactant. Again, this is really no different than what we were doing before. The only difference is we have to do it twice. Uh, if I had three reactants, I would have to do it three times because I would be given three different um, materials, uh, three different givens. Notice I didn't do anything with this zinc chloride here. Reason being is we weren't asked about zinc chloride. So why would we calculate anything about zinc chloride if we weren't asked? Uh, the only thing we're asked about is the hydrogen, so that's what I worked with, is the hydrogen.